Good afternoon traders, it's E, eminutewizard.com, and for marketwizards.com, and it's Tuesday afternoon, getting close to 3 o'clock, uh, just going over one more time our potential target, 2371, it's uh, been elusive the last few days, but certainly we've been in that neighborhood, um, a lot of people misunderstand the idea of day trading. I think all you're doing is looking for uh, the little mini swings, but truthfully, the deeper you can look and the more you can understand the footprint of the bigger players, what we call the generals, then the easier it is to understand probably the direction of the trades and uh, the swing trades and the nature of basically how trading works. So we always try to fit the little trades inside the bigger ones, and that theory I call the Russian doll theory. And we talk about it in our website for, for the members. The idea that these smaller trades fit inside larger ones, and they fit inside even larger ones. So this target has been identified uh, a while ago, uh, probably three weeks ago. We we saw this target come, and we said this is where we're heading. And uh, don't cut your profits short. Play the long side, buy the uh, dips until proven otherwise. So we're at that juncture now where the end of the month is here. Um, one tick, obviously, risk-reward. Yeah, you have to consider that. It's not just about nailing your target. It's about taking something out of the day's range. So truthfully, when we get to this neighborhood, and that's why we said, you know, be careful, 68 to the 71 target, um, because risk-reward will start to come into play. And, and that's, we can see in the, in the last few days how, how we've approached those targets, but truth be told, shorts have done just as well as the longs. So we want to keep a look on the pattern. Sometimes beginning of the month, um, we'll get a sharp sell-off for a day or so, and then we'll bounce back as they buy at deeper levels and as the market retraces. So we can see right now this 62 area has lined up as an important concept. And if that breaks, then we obviously need to take out this 55 zone to test the, the next zone back here, uh, which would be in 53s to 52s. So for now, that we're going to look at as support. We're going to look at that 71 to 73 zone as next resistance, and this is going to be the middle. And range type trading for now. So I will not um, try to give away all our secrets, but I do like to share some of the things that I've learned over the years. A lot of good traders have helped me, and I think that's an important part of our business to reach out and help others who uh, have a sincere interest in paying their dues and in learning. Um, you can't give anybody something if they don't want it. So I try to give to those that appreciate it, and um, I thank you for listening. Breakouts usually get retested, and that's the point of drawing where you think you have a breakout. Uh, and today we can see that that um, three-point breakout that we had uh, has come back to get retested. I've got 60 and a quarter right now as our uh, angel trying to hold and support this. Um, and this is a reflection of yesterday's trade and obviously coming back to uh, retest this formation, this pattern. Don't forget, the more we get stretched away from the rain line, then the more likely, uh, likely we are to come back and retest it. So it's fairly neutral right now with, with that at that 62, 63 area. Uh, and this is something that I pay attention to, and we'll look at it at other time frames, but I like it on the five-minute chart. Now, with one simple click, I can go from a five to a ten and look at a deeper level. And just by doing that, I can see a totally different perspective. It tells me the ten-minute chart is in play, and that's why it's hard to break down right now. Need to look at a 15 next, but our base chart is the 5, which is fairly neutral. But we can see how this blue line, once we got underneath and we fell, this rain line has stopped the plunge and we bounced, but we've been held captive by the blue line. So normally this will be the, the next key battle. And then if we can get back up against, you know, above that 64, we're off to the races again. So for now, I'm going to say the 10-minute chart is in play, and that's what I call the chart in play, because it makes sense. It tells me why it stopped and why it's resisted up here. And just by scrolling, I can guesstimate about what it's going to be. 
And this is a 30 minute Globex and it does take some time if you're newer to charts to see a lot of data on one chart. Um, there's just so many things to look at. It's like, where do you begin? But in, in something like this, I can see my pivot point zone. I can see a resistance zone. I can see first support zone, second support zone. I can take a look and see patterns. And this is a 30 minute chart. So we go from a 15 to a 30. Then we start to respect this zone right here near 60 when the rain line is there. So admittedly not perfect, but it gives us some clues. And we can use the same idea that for now this 65 could get retested, but probably it would, we'd do well to make sure we take profits if we're going long into that target. Yeah, let's wrap up with an angels and demons. <clears throat> this line right here would be our, our demon area, our resistance zone, <clears throat> back around that 68 area, 67.75. And we also have about 60 and a quarter for our angel and the rest of it's range traded. And we can see how we broke down uh, in this 64, 63 area and it got retested on the bounce. And then we've come back and we are currently holding the angel zone. We've made a rotation higher and now we're starting to hold. We're holding this. And once we lose this 59 area, then anything goes again. But for now, we're going to look at this high and this low and assume that we need to range trade that range before we can decide anything else. So theoretically, anybody that's had a good move south side, you take the re-entry trade, great, and you assume that it's probably not going to break. If you've got a trailer, you let the trailer work and see if you can get any more. But probably on, on a day like today with a very small range, n not worth a lot of overthinking and, and over trading. It, it took a long time for us to break today, and it, and it came at lunchtime. <clears throat> which I told Club 200, a lot of times if we get a very quiet morning, we'll get the move at lunch. So, so far that's what's happened. So any re-entries, pay attention time, it's after 3 o'clock. Uh, key will be, can we hold this 60 to 59 area? If so, then we could still bounce back up and, and come one more high and test into that 65 area. But for now, uh, most traders, if you've had a good day, you're going to lock your profits and make sure you take something home. So I would say this would be the last re-entry short anybody that's taking one more re-entry. Uh, but don't think of this as a killer trade. I doubt very seriously this is going to go too far. All right, this is E for E-Mini Wizard and MarketWizards.com. Hope you're having a great day. Catch you on the next one.